want to emulate PSP games on your Steam Deck, this is the guide for you. And it runs really well. We're going to have it like 5x resolution. We're going to have anti aliasing on. And I'm going to be testing God of War. So this is really easy to do. I'm going to show you the full steps, how to set everything up, the controller, the show keys, save states, how to get it into your Steam Deck gaming mode as well with proper you know, cover art and everything. So let's get down to it. First of all, this video is not condoned piracy. It is for educational purposes only. Please make sure you rip all the games that you will be playing. Okay, so you press the Steam button. Go to power, go to switch to desktop. So this is most of the initial setup will be in the desktop. Once it's set up, we can switch back to gaming mode and we'll have the game set up there as well. So initially just wait because this right trackpad will act as your mouse cursor, the pointer, but it's not working right now, but you'll suddenly start moving. As you can see, it takes about five to seven, 10 seconds to kick in. So if this is the first time you're in desktop mode, the R, again, I always forget the R2, yes, R2 button here is left click and L2 is right click. Talk about being confusing. So, first of all, let's just download PPSSPP and you go to Internet, Firefox. If this is an automatically installed, which I have found sometimes it isn't. You'll open up the Discover Store, and in the top right of the Discover Store, there'll be an install button for the Firefox application. Install that, and then you can open it up. Okay, so search for PPSSPP, PPSSPP, this doesn't require any BIOS files or any firmware, which is honestly great. Go to download and you want to scroll down to Linux. There's flat up and app image. App image will give you the best performance. This will take you to the GitHub page. We don't need to compile anything, it'll take you to the latest version. And you scroll down and you want this any Linux.app image. Let's click it, it'll start downloading. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm going to cancel this, close this down, and I've got the file right here. You, you want to right click it, you want to go to properties, go to permissions, and this will be def, you know off. You want to enable this, click OK. And if you have a game, which I do, it's a .7z file, it could be a zip, it could be a raw file. You want to right click, you want to click extract here. This will extract the game. And whilst we do that, I recommend creating a folder somewhere either on an external, you know, micro SD card. In the documents or on the desktop i've called it emulation in there i'm going to create another folder and i'm going to call this psp and in here we're going to create another folder i'm going to call this games it's just a great way of organizing all your ROM files. And we'll put our game in here. So if we open this up, it is a .iso. It might be a .ciso, though, which is a compressed version. .iso generally work better. They'll have the best, you know, performance and, you know, they'll be the most accurate, but they will also be the biggest in file size. I'm going to click move here. That's now set up. I'm also going to move this PSP application here as well. You can rename this. You can right click rename because this might get updated. You want to make sure you have dot app image still there, but I'll leave it as is. And I'm going to open this up now. Click execute. So there's just a little bit of setup that we want to do here before we go anywhere else. So go to settings. Hmm. I'll name it in the back end, which is a bit weird. Also, to, 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 let me just reopen it. Okay, there we go. So we're going to change the back end to Vulkan. That will get the best performance. Click restart, you'll restart. In settings, you want to go to rendering resolution, change that to 4x. You can go even higher. Anti aliasing, 
two x is more than enough click that and you want to if you want it at full screen by default which you can do but i'm going to leave it off for now and we think we can leave off and here that's pretty much it we don't need to touch anything else set an isotropic filter to 16 next it should be default but if it isn't just enable it in controls go to control mapping you want to go to auto configure select your steam deck device and this has auto configured it now it does a good job there's just a little few tweaks that we want to do if you scroll down so for pause get rid of all of these because there's some conflicting ones press this i'm going to use the back buttons so that's just the buttons over let me show you over here so i'll use l3 uh, for pausing and another one i find useful is the speed toggle so this will just fast forward this is fantastic to skip parts of the game and you can put stuff for save and load states as well shortcuts if you would like to that pause menu will have these options there so i don't really feel the need to do that and you can have one for exit application as well again i don't want to accidentally touch that everything else we can leave as is click back <coughs> actually um, let me just see one last one Yeah, toggle full screen. So we'll do toggle full screen as well. I'm gonna do that as R4. And that's it. Order. We can click back, back, we can exit. And once you have exited the game, we want to actually add this to Steam. So we're gonna launch up Steam. Still in desktop mode, go to games. Add a non Steam game. You want to click browse, go to desktop, emulation, PSP, select the app image, click open, click add selected programs. Now go to library, click this option here, go to installed locally. So you only have the game that you've got installed. You want to find it, so PPSSPP -P -P right there, right click it, go to properties. And I'm gonna, for the name, I'm just gonna put PPSSPP. We don't need the version, I'm just gonna look a lot nicer without this. Okay, that's that done. Next, in compatibility, make sure this is off. And in customization, we need to add some cover art. To do that, open up your web browser. You wanna search for Steam Grid DB steam grid db i'll have links to everything that i'm showing you in a pinned comment and i'm going to search for pppsspp so this is great for getting cover art for your steam okay so we need one like this and one like this i, I think i'll go for the first two i quite like them they're pretty good and just right click it save image as and i'm going to put this in the psp folder and i'm going to create a new folder here called cover so this is all in one neat location covers and now we're going to get the wide one as well So you can click download here this will just take you to the big image click save and go to emulation psp covers did i save it in the right location I feel like i didn't let's have a look so emulation psp okay they're both there go back to steam click change we're going to go to desktop emulation psp covers and we're going to go to background okay so if it doesn't appear so that was jpeg you just click drop down click all files there we go and we want to do the wide cover as well so again just 
go to all files. Sometimes download the JPEG, sometimes download the PNG. Feel free to use custom files and that's it. We can click close, close this, close this down, close it all down. And now we can go back to Steam and test the emulator out. So if we double click that, this will return to gaming mode. <coughs> Once we're in gaming mode, I'll show you where to actually find these applications that you've installed that you know aren't just installed through Steam itself. Okay, so click the Steam button, go to library, and you want to click R1 and go all the way over to non-steam there's pp sspp without the cover it'll look like that looks horrible as you can see it looks a lot better and in the controls we can actually just leave this as default well, i'm pretty happy with that we've set the back buttons as well and click play and in here i know my game's on the desktop it's in the emulation folder, PSP, games. There's the game right there. So I generally do all my sort of setting changes in the emulate, I mean in desktop mode. But if you want to do some, you can do it here and just use the touch controls. So if I press, I feel like the controls haven't properly updated. So let's just close this down actually. And relaunch it up. So play. <coughs> Settings. Controls. Control mapping. Okay, so fast. Okay, so fast forward. Uh, we don't need those. Actually, we need these. So if we add this again. Um, oh, it's picked it up as a different sort of input now. So I'll do it. As... Actually, let me just do auto configure Steam Deck controller. Delete all of these. So for the pause. Okay, so yeah. So in the Steam mode, it's picked it up as a different controller. Best to do it here. So for speed mode, we'll toggle there. And I did have one other setting about full screen. There we go. Okay, everything else we can leave as is. That should be fine. Uh, so if you did want to override, you could click it. And uh, not that, sorry. You could click the plus, click right, for example. But I'm happy with the way it is. Click back. So that's just something to bear in mind. Actually, when you are in game mode, set the back controls because they will get, unless you change it in, over, in the control setting. But this is fine. So if you click play so if you press l3 it takes you to the menu you can go to settings and you can also do create game config and the game settings are specifically for this game so if you know this game is you know running slow you can lower the resolution or if you want to increase the resolution you can do honestly these should work with pretty much any game you can save states here just click it and this allows you to just save and continue any point in the game even if there isn't a specific saving mechanism at that moment so remember we've got the fast forward as well i've just done the speed toggle <coughs> okay so so audio is let's go to device speaker why we're not getting any audio game volume for some reason it's muted it so I'm going to put that to 100 there we go then I'll Yep, just fast forward in through it.
as you can see it's looking good running well for a 4x resolution But that is it. And remember you can save states. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell to be notified of future videos. Let me know what other emulation content you would like to see next, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.